Hey everyone, so for today we're going to be talking about biometric security. Um, we're going to be talking about things like what it is, what is biometric data, um, different types of examples of it, um, risks to biometric security, and how we can make it more secure. Biometrics are arising as an advanced layer to many personal and enterprise security systems. With the unique identifiers of your biology and behaviors, this may seem foolproof. However, that is not always the case. Biometrics aims to replace traditional passwords by linking proof of identity to our bodies and behavior patterns. So what is biometrics? For a quick biometrics definition, it is biological measurements or physical characteristics that can be used to identify individuals. For example, we've got fingerprint mapping, facial recognition, and retina scans. They are all forms of biometric technology. So there are three main categories of biometric security. The first one is biological biometrics. Um, this uses traits at a genetic and molecular level. These may include features like DNA or your blood, which might be assessed through a sample of your body's fluids. The second category of biometrics is morphological biometrics. Um, this involves the structure of your body, more physical traits like your eye, fingerprints, or the shape of your face um, that can be mapped for use with security scanners. The third and final category of biometric security is behavioral biometrics. These are based on patterns unique to each person. How you walk, speak, or even type on a keyboard can be an indication of your identity if these patterns are tracked. What is biometric data used for? Essentially, it takes a person's unique physical characteristics and uses it as a ways for authentication. To be useful, biometric data must be unique, permanent, and collectible. Once measured, the information is compared and matched in a database. What makes biometric security difficult to defeat? Well, it's a combination of two things. It's the convenience of use, which is biometrics that are always with you and cannot be lost or forgotten. And it's difficult to steal or impersonate. Biometrics can't be stolen like a password or a key can. There are many types of biometric security methods. For this presentation, we've listed the top six. The first one is facial recognition, where it measures the unique patterns of a person's face. It's used in security and law enforcement, but also as a way to authenticate identity and unlock devices like smartphones and laptops. The second method is iris recognition. It identifies the unique patterns of a person's iris, which is the colorful area of the eye surrounding the pupil. Although widely used in security applications, it isn't typically used in the consumer market. The third method of biometric security is the fingerprint scanner, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. It captures the unique patterns of ridges and valleys on a finger. Many smartphones um, and Apple products and some laptops use this technology as a type of password to unlock a screen. The fourth method of biometric security is voice recognition. It measures the unique sound waves in your voice as you speak to a device. Your bank may even use voice recognition to verify your identity when calling about your account. Or sometimes you use it when giving instructions to a smart speaker like Amazon's Alexa or a Google Home. The fifth method of biometric security is hand geometry. This measures and records the length thickness, width, and surface area of a person's hand. These devices date back all the way to the 1980s and were typically used in security applications. The sixth and final biometric security method is behavior characteristics. It analyzes the way you interact with the computerized system. Keystrokes, handwriting, how you use a mouse, and other movements can assess who you are or how familiar you are with the information that you're entering. With any sort of technology, there is always ways to improve and it comes with its own flaws. For biometric security, to improve it, 
they're starting to use two-step authentication, where they use two different types of biometrics to make it more secure. But it is also problematic because it can also be susceptible to deception. The most popular type of biometric security that is used nowadays is the fingerprint scanner. However, examples of fingerprint cloning are everywhere. A fingerprint can be cloned reliably in about 40 minutes with $10 worth of material simply by making a fingerprint impression in molding plastic or candle wax. Although biometric authentication is convenient and easy to use, the privacy aspect is a big concern. It advocates fear that biometric security erodes personal privacy. The concern is that personal data could be collected easily and without consent. A more immediate problem is that databases of personal information are targets for hackers. Storing biometric data on a device such as your phone is considered safer than storing it with a service provider. If a password is compromised, it can be changed. However, with biometric data, it remains the same forever. Unauthorized access becomes much more difficult when systems require multiple means of authentication. This is when two-factor authentication comes into play. If we used biometrics in addition to something that you have, such as a password or a hardware token, then it makes it much more secure. In conclusion, the combined protection of your physical or behavioral signatures with other authentications gives some of the strongest known security. Despite the risks, the systems are convenient and with the implementation of two-factor authentication along with biometrics, it makes it very promising for the future of security.